Hello! Today, the company GBZ Precision Tools presents you the toolset for the machining of medium voltage cables in the range from 10 to 30 kV from the product range of cable devices GBPM20. The set includes the sheath cutter GBM20, the peeling tool GBP20, the edge cutter GBKG053, spare blades and a tube of silicon. First, we straighten the cable. Clean it. And mark the settling length. To remove the outer sheath, we take the sheath cutter GBM20 and mount it to the cable. To check the correct position of the rollers on the cable, we turn the tool half a turn forwards and backwards and tighten it if necessary. We have three options for the feeding rate setting 0, 1, and 2. For this cable diameter, we set it to 1. When the tool fits optimally, the cutting depth will be adjusted. Attention! The shielding wires must not be damaged. Now we cut up to the mark. Here we set the feed to zero and create a round cut with two to three turns. Now we remove the cable outer sheath. The tool and then the source fleece. Then we bend the shielding wires backwards. Remove the fleece. And fix the shielding wires with tape. We remove the inner conductive layer with the peeling tool GBP20. First, we clean the cable. Then, the peeling end has to be marked. And finally, silicon is applied for better gliding of the tool. The peeling tool GBP20 has to be mounted on the cable. Now we can adjust the cutting depth. A part of insulation has to be removed too. From five possible feed settings, we set to one for our needs. After three to five revolutions, the chip can be put over the guiding pin and the end of the chip can be put through. Now the chip winds itself on the cable and so it is not disturbing. When the marking is reached, the feed is set to zero. And we create a round cut with two to three turns. After removing the chip, we can remove the tool too. The now exposed insulation has to be cleaned. And we have to mark the working length. The sheath cutter GBM20 will be mounted on the cable as in the first step. And the cutting depth has to be adjusted. Attention! 
the blade is only adjusted to a cutting depth of approximately 80% of the insulation to avoid damaging the conductor. The feed rate is also set to 1 here. We check the cutting depth with a test cut and readjust if necessary. The cutting of the insulation is performed up to the mark. The feed rate is set to zero. And with two to three turns we make a round cut. Now we remove the insulation and the tool. In the last step we place the edge cutter GBKG053 on the end of the insulation. Tighten it and create a chamfer with a light axial pressure. We hope that we were able to show you with this video the very easy editing of cables with the tools from our suit tool set. And say goodbye until next time, your GBZ team.